Now, this is the swell knife he's doing for Krish. Now he didn't want to go all the way with a custom leather sheath. I mean, it, it's a fair bit. I mean, these knives are sort of forty-five pound, and the sheath's okay. It's just the retention straps, crap. Great piece of leather, great snap. That ain't no good, and it's no good up here. So, oh yeah, I did that on. You wanted a ferro rod. So we'll put up the light ever so slightly. I've done that for you, right, Chris? And then that way, it's a lot cheaper for you. It was just a case of unstitching that, making a loop, putting it in, gluing it, and I stitched it back up neat and tidy. All right, so it's lock stitched in there. You got a shot cord, golf ball ended thing, so that that won't come out. That doesn't go over the top of there. That snap, I'm not taking it off because you'll end up with a hole in your belt loop. There's the one that allows the blade out. There's your custom blade. Smooth as your light handle. Goes back in. The guard clicks over the top of the strap. Do you see that then? Nice and neat. Over the top of the strap. Click. And then stop stop them flapping around. That there. And that'll stop that happening with the handle. So I'll give you a, a message in the next couple of days and we'll sort this all out. But there's there's a mod for the mod knife. I try nice. I try and chuck these bombs out there, these funny ones, but yeah, that was a bit flat on them. <laughs> right, so MOD Survivor Knife pimped out economically. Next time again. Let's go for West Explains.